Hello everyone, and hello Hava! Good job getting that pepper! And welcome back to Falcon Age, where we are here on our planet with our beautiful falcon, Hava, also known as Vamsuki, and uh, we're getting back from the farm. Now that we were able to plant some of those potatoes at the farm, we have really got a lot more food up and going. No wonder we're able to make the most of living here. We actually harvested like 14 horned melons, 13 red peppers, 13 green fruit, and now we can go ahead and come on over and we're gonna turn all of that into some really delicious food for Hava, aka Vansuki. Hava's just my pet name for her. Before we go and we visit the abandoned town in order to speak to someone who might be able to make something special for our little bird. Also, if you notice the map, I never really looked at it very carefully before, but it's split between outposts and labor camps. There's actually a bunch of labor camps that we ran through when we were escaping the prison. And I just couldn't believe how how hard that was to kind of accept. I guess that used to be our town, but not anymore. All right, let's go ahead and make a couple of these for her. Hang in there, Hava. I want to make sure that you are well fed. The battle that we did at the refinery really showed me how important it is to make sure that she's got everything she needs. All right, there we go. Super red bun. We're gonna cook another snack for her. All right, let's go ahead. Rabbit meat. A couple more red peppers. And we actually did learn a new recipe too. We learned a recipe for hard samosas, where you put three of these horned melons in. And check, check it out. A tough samosa recipe. <laughs> Which I'm sort of stunned about, but hey, if she would enjoy it, she can have all the tough samosas she wants. I actually learned how to make some really good vegan samosas the other week. It was a lot of work. I will never, for the rest of my life, take a samosa for granted again. You have to kind of treat them like the dumplings that Chips and I also make. We make vegan Chinese dumplings every new year as a tradition between the two of us. And to make the dough from scratch and roll it out, I can see how it used to be like, a, and still is in a lot of places, something that you do as sort of a, a family event. Something that you do because you need the whole family there to help you to pluck the dough, to roll it into little balls, to roll it out, to fill it with the filling, to cook the dumplings. It takes a long time and it was like that with the samosas too. We didn't just make them super quickly, super easily. It, it took a little while. But how the... There we go, sweetie. We have a whole bunch of food for you now. A lot of sweet green green buns which will give you 25 percent health recovery over time super red buns which will give you 50 and tough samosas which will increase her defense by 25 percent that makes me happy but all right now that we've taken care of things at the farm i believe we need to go this direction yeah and then we should be able to find ourselves at camp or excuse me at the camp that they've made out of the abandoned town and I am ready. I have learned through walking through these canyons that there's just all sorts of unexpected places where they've left the robots that they call spiders to kind of harass and I guess collect up all the people who live here. All right, I don't think it's down there. Anything on the map? No, just there might be some food up ahead for Hava. Hang on, let me double check. Is there a bunny? No, no bunny. But this big area makes me kind of nervous. Do I need to go through that gate? I think I do. Okay. <gasps> Whoa, Hava! What the heck? Did you see that? I mean, I hate to hunt things without, you know, without it being really critical, but I think that that was more food for her. Remember, the hunting is important in order to, like, feed her and take care of her. Also, let's just go ahead and investigate here. What do we have? Oh! Uh, a super green bun recipe card that I think is going to tell us. Let's check it out. Uh, it tells us about... That looks suspiciously like a gecko tail. <laughs> Alright. 
Let's keep our eyes open. We may have something we want her to hunt. Oh, look, I think he came out of here. Huh, and he didn't show up on the map, did he? Okay, so can't always trust that map for food for her. Um. Be ready, Hava. I can't imagine what it must be like having your own home turned into like a war ground that you need to constantly feel nervous about. Like here, what the heck? Why is there, whoa. Why is there a security drone here? We're supposed to be able to get to the abandoned town, right? Oh, there's an outpost and then hiding on the other side. Okay, Hava, a couple security drones, but nothing we can't handle. All right, I can go ahead and get her. All right, you ready, Hava? And boom, that one's taken care of. Oh geez, it's a whole outpost actually. It's not nearly as easy as I thought it would be. Oh, there's gonna be darts. Hang in there, Hava. Oh my gosh, they're really darting her. Hava. Come here, sweetie. Hang in there. Let me go ahead and take this thing out. And then we can work together on the rest, okay? Can I grab you your food really quickly? This is why we have the buns that we do in order to take care of her. I knew that we would probably need these. All right, come here, Hava. Oh, I know, I love you too. There you go. All right, your food. All right, hang in there, sweetie. We're gonna take out this outpost before we go. Okay. All right, I'm about to get shot, darn it. Ah! Okay, where is it? Okay. Oh. All right, good. And she's doing good. That food restored her. Thank goodness. I may really need to focus on trying to learn how to feed her literally on the fly. Okay, hurry, stab this before more pop out. Another one popped out before I can finish. There. Okay. Well, at least we took out this outpost. Is there anything I want to collect while we're here? I don't think so. Jeez. But yeah, I mean, it makes my heart really hurt thinking about, like, this is your home. And all of these things happen that, like, turn it into a hostile place where you can't even feel safe to walk your own streets. Like, that's really sad. You! Stop in the name of decency. Tell me, do you want to come inside? Yes. Please answer this question carefully. Are. You. Human! Uh, like, what? What are you even asking? Wrong answer, you have to go. What? Okay, okay. I mean, yes, I want to come inside. Uh, yes, I'm human. Come on, what else do I even look like? Look, I just had to make sure. You never know with the Outer Ring company. They're so sneaky. I wonder if they could always, they can't answer that they're human. Like if that's some sort of default programming in the robots. Anyway, come on. I'm sure everyone's going to be excited to see you. Come on, come in. Thank you. Thank you. The abandoned town, huh? Wow, there's people trying to build and paint here, but... Oh, you guys, wow. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Hello? Hi. Oh, she's working on something there. Too busy to talk to us. Oh, hello. This painting is just getting started. Uh, cool. Are you an artist too? Everyone's an artist of some sort. That's what my teacher used to say. Art is not an easy trade to live on these days, but we get by. Um, I'll be honest, dude. Like, looking around? 
you know, there's something to be said for working on creating art. Even in the most desperate circumstances, that really shows a human spirit. So I really appreciate that. In a place like this, surrounded by robots, having had everything stripped from you, it's actually a really bold and courageous thing to focus on your art. So power to you, buddy. Me and my kid both. We both like to create things. I bet my kid also draws quick sketches of people who walk by. He's way better at crafting than I am, but can't draw to save his life. I can't bring myself to tell him he can't draw too well. Materials to make art are hard to come by. We rely on travelers like you to trade supplies. If you find us some fruits, we could turn that into paint. I'm running low on paint. I'm also very hungry. I should have really eaten the fruits instead of turning it into paint. Here's something for you. Oh wow, a special item? What do we have here? Put it on the bird. What? Hava! Bunzuki! Here, girl! Um, here? <gasps> Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Art is fun. Yes, art is fun! Also, like, you probably should eat those fruits, you know? You gotta set a good example for your kid. And who's this? <gasps> He's got a little lizard shoulder! Shoulder lizard buddy! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Come here, girl. That bird of yours. I want a closer look. Oh my gosh, he's missing an arm. Why are you so interested in her? Who wouldn't be? Look at her. She's magnificent. Magnificent. She glows like a ruby in the bloody light of the dying sun. Oh my gosh. How much would it cost for me to buy her for you? She's not for sale. She's my friend. But what is the point of a friend if they don't provide value? You sound like those robots. You must spend so much time and resources caring for her. Sell her to me and I will make all the trouble she's caused worth it. Um, like I said, stop asking. She's not for sale. Fine, fine. But if you ever change your mind, you know where to find me. I know a lot about- I know a lot of people who pay good money to get her hands on her. Dude, I don't like you. By the way, my man's Ahsoka, and I live to facilitate the lives of people like you and your beautiful friend feisty thing. Yeah, I don't like him either. But what do you mean? Facilitate the lives of people like me. Not even going to say a word about how rude your bird was? Fine. I make armor for beasts like her. Nothing is beautiful or as extravagant as what my friends off-world might sell, but high-quality goods nonetheless. Well, that's good to know. I'd be happy to show you exactly how interesting my wares can be, but first, I need a favor. Of course you do. Out east, there's a desert where sand wolves live. I want their armor. That sounds dangerous. Yes, but everything on this planet is dangerous. And look at you, girl. You could easily handle them all. Uh, how do you fight them? The sand wolves burrow deep into the sand, where they wait for their prey. And to make matters worse, they're covered in thick bone plating. You'll need to pry the armor off to get anything done. Maybe my falcon hen can help? Only if you find a way to remove their armor first. Unfortunately, that's all I can tell you. Except maybe, if you're not feeling confident, you should run very quickly. Will it be, pretty child? Um... The shop? Okay. Oh, and he'll buy things from me! Alright. And there's also gourds that increase shock resistance when cooked, potatoes for speed increase, beets for charisma when cooked, and stealthiness when cooked. What? She gets charisma? That's so cool! Digging claws to dig up buried objects, super dipping, digging claws to dig up buried objects faster. <gasps> what? Ultra buried- like, wow, you would have her dig? And look at all these little hats and things you can buy for her! Oh, wow! Including a shock beak, shock resistant ceramic beak, or damage beak, beak strikes do damage. <gasps> Pluma change, so you can change her colors. I really love her gorgeous ruby red though, so I don't know if I would want to change her, her colors, you know what I mean? Wow, okay, so he's got some interesting wares, all right, but I think having the damage beak so that beak strikes do damage would probably be the best use of our time and i think i can go ahead and sell these recipes like if that's if that's a thing we can do 
Can I sell these? Okay, he doesn't want to buy them from us. And it looks like that's all we have to sell right now. <laughs> no! Are you sure? No, 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 no. Okay, we're good, we're good. All right, so that's what he's got. Find any sand wolves lately? There's always treasure to find in those shacks in the desert. Well, thanks, Ahsoka. I still don't know much about him, and I think we should probably look around the shopping options. Right. Before we go ahead and spend our cash with him. But we're here, you guys. The abandoned town. What no doubt used to be the center of our people's home. And now, well... How much is there to it? And he said we need to go out to the east or out to the west in order to hunt sand wolves. It would be out to the east, all right. Hmm. So it looks like that might be one of the next quests that we actually have to do. So objectives, bring his sand wolf armor plate to Ahsoka. In fact, that is the next quest we need to do. So all right, we'll go ahead and continue exploring town. We'll see what's here. And then we will go and hunt some sand wolves next time. So if you guys could, do please leave a like uh, for the adorable little shoulder lizard that Ahsoka has, if not for him himself. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.